good morning, Raven County. It is a uh, it's a rainy Tuesday, yeah. but uh, the good news is we're here with Lauren Benfield, who is the relatively new Raven County Tax Commissioner. Yes. Um, first, thank you for taking time to meet with us. Yes, thank you for and asking. You're welcome. <laughs> and and two, congratulations on your election. Thank you. As the as the uh, tax commissioner, I'm Roger Glenn with Post Realty. In case you don't know. That's the uh, least important information that we'll have today. But um, I thought we'd just take a little bit of time talking about sort of some of the roles and functions of the tax commissioner's office. And yeah. then to the degree you want to talk about sort of your personal philosophy and approach, that'd be great as well. Okay. The main thing that the tax commissioner's office does is we um, bill and collect for the counties and the schools. Um, for property taxes. The um, Board of Commissioners and the school board set their millage rate. The tax assessor's office set the values on the properties and then our office then creates a bill and we collect for that bill and then disperse that back out to the entities that it's supposed to go to. For, for folks that are new mm -hmm. to, to Raven County because you know we've got had an influx yes. to some degree, you've probably seen that in your numbers. Yes. Um, what are some of the key things that you would like them to know uh, in terms of lessons for people that have moved from a different state and then arrive here only to find out that you know they needed a particular piece of documentation? What are some of those um, sorts of things? Our biggest thing with motor vehicles is when we see the new residents coming in um, where they've moved either from in-state or from another county within Georgia. The biggest one, the hardest part is where they move in-state and they move from a state where they're, um, that state is an electronic titling state, like Florida, for instance. They don't print titles unless you request for it. So they come in here and they think that well, Georgia is the same way when we're not. So they have to go back and present, get requests for their title to be printed, and then bring it back. So it's like a you know two-step process to where it could have been a one-step process if they would have had their title before. So um, whenever you're guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're moving in the state, um, if you don't have a lien hold on your vehicle, you do have to have the title for your vehicle. Um, you do have to have Georgia insurance. You cannot have another um, policy within another state. So if you move from Florida, North Carolina, or wherever, you have to um, switch your insurance policy for your vehicle over to Georgia because it has to be transmitted to the state of Georgia. Right. Um, and you have to update your driver's license. A lot of people think that they come to us first and do their driver's license second, but your driver's license is what brings your residence. Right. So you have to change your driver's license. So your driver's license, your insurance, and your title is your main three things that you have to do before you come in. The big three. Yes, the big three. And then we have <laughs> the wonderful um, tax. Luckily, if you're a new resident and moving into Georgia, they they do grant you a 3% tax versus the full TAVT. Um, so they give you a break there because moving is expensive. Um, but then if you was, after you move here, if you was to purchase a new vehicle, you at that point would be taxed on the full 6.6% that the state has the value at now. Um, and then if you move in from a county within Georgia, your vehicles are already registered in Georgia. So at that point, you just update your driver's license address mm -hmm. and then you bring that in and we can update that address within our drives motor vehicle system. And we can transfer all your information and then renew your tags, give you an updated registration. The new Raven stickers, so you're a proud resident here. And, you know, it's, it's pretty simple, but it, at the whenever you're moving and you've got so much on your on your mind, it's it's a lot to take in. Yeah. Um, I encourage people to call, call my staff, call me. Yeah. You know, we'll explain the process of what you need. We'll go over what you need, or even stop by and show us, hey, I've got this, this, and this, and what else do I need? And we can go from there. We can give you an estimate on what it will cost you. That way, it's not a huge shock when you come in and you've got a brand new vehicle you paid taxes in three months ago in Florida, and you're hit again when you move to Georgia. That's <laughs> the biggest shocker. Is people don't know that. Um, you could use us as a case study, Lauren. So we, we had we man. had some we had some of these issues. We yes. got a couple things right. But yes, yeah. yes. Um, oh, thing too that if you have a lien holder, you've got to have all their information so we can request the title from them because lien holders are not going to give the title back to the customer that has the lien. Right. Um, just you know for security purposes, there you can do a lot with the title. Yeah. Um, and then you know that's a whole other process that's a little bit more complicated. So I do suggest people do call and you know let us explain yeah. that process what you need 
because it does get a little bit more complicated for so that. Sounds like the key is kind of planning ahead. Yes. And regardless of where you're coming from, make that phone call. Yes. Check with you so you know what you need. Yeah, and you can email to, us too. I was going to um, ask you how they get, what's the best place to get contact information? Um, for our your website, RavenCountyTax.com. Um, it has my email and contact information, my staff's emails listed on it there. You know, they're at their computers all day, on their emails all day. So they are, you know, if you send us an email, we respond pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, we're, I even have my email on my phone. So I, even on my time off or, you know, going from one place for another, I'm emailing. It's like, you there know. There goes your work-life balance. Line. Yes, yes. <laughs> but, you know, always got I, to be readily available. For yes, me. I can relate to that yes. in our, our line of work. But and yes. for all the realtors out there, it sounds like folks they have that are coming into town that they know mm -hmm. we're going to move. Maybe a stop by here, just like we take yeah. the visitor center or other things. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and encourage them. Our office, you do not apply for homestead here, but you apply for homestead in the tax assessor's office. And, you know, it's a it's a small break. It's not, I don't know the exact amount on what it's off because I, I do not handle that. But, you know, every little bit helps. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Penny says yeah. a penny, penny earned. Yes. Um, for folks that might not be familiar where your office actually is and the retail, if you will. Yeah. The... We are just down the road from the main red light on Main Street. Off, um, you turn, you actually go straight through the red light like you're coming through to the courthouse. Um, we share a parking lot with the public library. Um, we're just right across the road from them and we're on the top level. Um, and then as soon as you come through our doors, my um, clerks are set up up front there behind the counter. And so they're there to help and yeah um readily available for you to um you know assist you and you know yeah. usually there's not we can work and get people through every now and then there is a small wait but most of the time there you know you're, you're there's not a wait there's people in the office but there's not there's not a huge long wait yeah so it's quick fast process that way <laughs> you know it's not like some of the um bigger dmvs where the population is more where you have to take a number and sit down and wait for hours and take a whole day and spin with us. Yeah. We would love for you to spend a whole day with us, but you don't want to spend a whole day with us. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll but uh, I, I will say having uh, been a recent, you know, new resident to the county, um, the attitude, the friendliness, the helpfulness um, was conspicuous. And I yeah. mean that in the most positive yeah. of, of connotations. So how, how is it that you all... Because sometimes you're dealing with a level of kind of detail and minutia mm -hmm. and people, because these issues, like you say, moving is stressful. They're a little stressed when they come in the front door and if they yeah. get a surprise. How do, you, how do you keep such a good culture within the organization and keep that kind of customer focus? We, um, for me, for instance, when I worked on the front counter, Nobody wants to pay taxes. Nobody's happy to pay taxes. <laughs> but if you... I don't know why. I, me either. But if you put yourself in that customer's shoes to think, hey, if this is me, don't make them feel, you know, like they're in trouble because they have to pay taxes. Explain it to them so that they understand. Show them what their options are. And just be caring. Give them the good customer service that they deserve. Yeah. And, you know, just show them the compassion to uh, of their situation and help them you know, through the process. And then, you know, there's things that we can, um, you know, that we can extend, we can work with. And then there's some things that our hands are tied with, but the things that we're able to extend and work with, we try our best to, you know, yeah. help each customer to the best of our abilities. Again, coincidentally, I had a personal experience that you helped yes. me with a very unique situation. And yes. um, I was almost in shock. <laughs> she said, it's okay. Yes. You can have two weeks, and, and I was not used to that. So yeah. we, we appreciate that. Unfortunately, um, you know, DMVs in general are sometimes the, the butt of many jokes. Yes. But probably because to some degree that's true, Raven County Tax Commissioner's Office is a notable exception. So you're going to be pleasantly surprised yes. in that regard. Um, what about things out there on the, on the horizon? What's coming in the future? What are some things that you're working on that folks have to look forward to and that you're maybe personally excited about? Um, one big thing that I'm excited about that I actually got a resolution approved in the end of June or January. I'm 
thinking ahead instead of backwards. <laughs> is I got the commissioners to approve a prepayment agreement. Um, a law in legislation passed a couple of years ago um, before tax commissioners could not take prepayment on their taxes. Now they can, um, and we can take up to 75% of the previous year's amount. So if for 2020, your bill amount was $1,000, we can take, we can accept up to 75% of that. So, and I've had a few people come in and actually start a prepayment. I have one gentleman that comes and sees me the first of the day every month, and I've developed a friendship with him. He has to come back here and personally see me, and um, he pays <laughs> his payment on his taxes and is super excited about it. So when tax bills come out in September, he's then got a huge portion of his taxes paid. Right. So um, right. before his bill is mailed out, I will take what he has paid and post it to his bill and just bill him for the remaining difference. And it, it's a huge help. Um, it's something that uh, most tax commissioners in Georgia do not do because it is a lot of extra work. But it's something that I am super excited that I have um, yeah. been able to do for our county. And it's a work in progress. So if anybody comes in and wants to um, complete this process, just bear with me because I'm learning. Um, was not a huge person in QuickBooks, but that's how I keep track of it. And so I'm learning daily in QuickBooks on how to work with that. And it's getting easier. The more I work in it, it's yeah. getting easier. So um, that is one thing that I did whenever I took over in January that I campaigned on it. And it's one thing I wanted to continue to do. And I'm super excited. And my goal is to, um, instead of people owing back taxes and making payments on their back taxes, to have them prepaying on their taxes for the, you know, the, the, continuing year yeah just um, a way to budget it a little bit yes, more intelligently so, yes so hopefully you know in the years to come we can see that switch to where you know our collection rate is super high in january because of uh, people have already they prepaid on it and they just owe a small amount versus in january starting to pay on their you know bill that was due in december yeah. so that's what i'm hoping to see in the future and work towards I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about yeah. it. It was, yeah. it's a huge deal, and my commissioners were excited to um, offer me that resolution, and you know, see. So it's something. That was my big change. Yeah, that's, <laughs> pre that's pretty neat. Yeah. Um, one of the demographics in the community that often just has a kind of a different set of needs uh, is seniors. Mm -hmm. You know, people that are aging, and and oftentimes there can be issues that that may, I won't say impede but in some cases they do but restrict their mobility or their their ability to sort of get out and about what um options for a group especially like seniors do folks have to deal with your office remotely and and those things um they can seniors usually are not they don't like to pay online um because there is a fee if you use a card online there's a transaction fee which is most everywhere you go if you use a card um, a lot of times, you know, they'll mail in their check. We still take in mail. Um, and a lot of times they like to come and visit us. They like to come and drop in their payment and get their receipt. But, you know, we do have that few that will call and say, hey, I'm, you know, I need help. And we'll walk out to their car and get their stuff and come back in and help them. Um, or, you know, especially when COVID was, we did that a lot. We still do it some, not as much, but, um, and then we always, like, if we see someone coming that we know is going to need help, someone will come around and go open the door for them and assist them. So we're always, luckily our office is full windows. So we're always, we can see, we see you coming. Yeah. So we can see and we can help you. It's pretty but, easy though to get from the parking lot. Yes. You know, even if you have limited mobility, that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. So, but, but that's great. This is another example of that sort of small town yes. if you will yes. personalized customer experience that mm -hmm. elsewhere you wouldn't get yes and yes. <laughs> <laughs> just another thing that's great about raven County. yes absolutely it's such a beautiful place to live and i was fortunate to grow up here and a lot of people have you know you you moved in and you've getting to enjoy our um beauty but i was fortunate that i got to attend attend raven county schools and um, graduate from there. They're um, they're awesome. They were awesome when I was in school, and they the buildings down there now are yeah yeah. Amazing. So we did a, an interview with Coach uh, Jabo Shaw, and yeah. just the facilities. Now I, yeah. in this occasion, I was only in the athletic department, yeah. but just amazing facilities. And speaking of facilities, 
I think you might have mentioned that you might be doing some things in the future um, to the office. Hopefully, um, we will see how things go, but hopefully we're looking to update the office a little bit, um, give my clerks a little bit more room. They um, don't have their desks. They are outgrowing their desks from their equipment, so hopefully we can you know, extend the desk out, extend the front office out a little bit, make that a little bit more to where we can have, you know, and add another workstation so there's another clerk there to help and, you know, extend yeah. that a little bit to where we, we're more functional for our customers and, um, you yeah. know, okay. residents that come in and complete their business. And so. you mentioned a little bit about this, but I always like to, to get a little bit into the personal yeah. story. You mentioned that you are, are a native of Raven yes. County. Yes, been, um, I actually, I grew up most of my life on um, in a community called Flat Creek on the backside of Lake Raven, um, low gap area. Um, that's still home whenever I was actually over there Sunday visiting my grandma. And um, it's just like it's still, you know, still home. Um, later in life, I did um, move back towards town with my dad. So, um, but I did, and I married someone that is um, local to him and his mom on a business here. And um, so we're just, we're here. He, you know, he's in the yeah. retail part of the business and I'm here serving the um, yeah. residents. You're allowed so. to give Wiley Tire not a, a little, <laughs> well, little plug. It's legal. I do it all the time. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. So, um. And, and, um. While you were newly elected as the tax commissioner, you have um, a lot of operational history here because... Yes. Um, I actually started working in the tax commissioner's office my senior year of high school. As um, I got on work release and I would um, leave, work or leave school around lunch. I can't remember. That's been so long ago. I don't even remember the time. And I would come in and work in the evening. <laughs> and, um, Wait till you get to be my age. <laughs> <laughs> um, I worked in the evening and I worked with Sandy and then not long after I graduated high school, um, a full-time position became open and um, I chose to do the full-time position and yeah. I just kept growing from there and I've seen, you know, as I continued working in agent, I was like, I when Sandy retires, that's what I want to do. I want to continue to make the difference that she's done and so that was my goal. I spoke with Sandy about it and that was the goal that I had. And that, um, you know, eventually she come around to it and to having the same goal that I had. And she worked with me and she um, helped me. She showed me a lot, showed me a lot about the office. Yeah. And so whenever I took over in January, I didn't have many hiccups because I had already been here. I knew the back end. Now there's some things to where, and this last year, Sandy has helped me and let me do a lot more, but it was always that comfort of she was here. So if I made a mistake or I'd done something, I could just run in here yeah, and be nice. like, Sandy, how do I fix this? <laughs> well, not too long into the middle of January when Sandy wasn't here anymore. It's like, right. oh, that's my problem now. So, right. um, which, you know, it was, everything's an easy fix. And, you know, I'll go ahead and admit, I make mistakes. Everybody does, but it's, yeah. So it's, um, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed this learning process with it. I enjoy um, seeing people. I enjoy I would love to work up front all the time, but I can't as much anymore. So I do get back up there and I kind of look like a creeper sometimes, creeping back in behind the clerks to see yeah. what's going on. That's where Lauren was when I showed up this <laughs> yeah, morning. She was yeah. behind the behind Back the there, um, helping them, seeing what's going on, finding out what um, I can assist with or how I can, you know, if there's a situation going on, how I can help my clerk explain it better to the customer or, you know, anything like that. Because a lot of times, you know, they... They're allowed to do so much, but sometimes it does take, hey, let me see what Lauren will allow more, you know, what we can actually, actually yeah. do. So it's, yeah. they like when I'm up there creeping, as they call it. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, Lauren, I really appreciate yes. your time this morning. I know Thank you're, you. you're busy, yeah. but uh, on behalf of the community and kind yeah. of the quality service that you and the staff provide, again, as someone has had a lot of recent experience with your office. Yeah. Thank you very much and just Thank your willingness you. to help people. So, uh, folks, if you're new or you have, you've you been in Raven County for a long time, have questions about changes in policies yeah. or whatever the questions, maybe you will find a, a friendly and willing team here at the Tax Commissioner's Office yes. um, to help you. So don't suffer in silence. Make that yeah. phone call yeah. or stop by Call if me, you like. email me, 
I mean, some people text me. Some people have my cell phone number and they'll text me. I'm like, oh, hey. <laughs> so, uh -oh. I mean, you there's, know, just. There's Pandora's box. Open it up. Yeah, <laughs> people do. I, I mean, it's just the way. It's 2021 now. So, I mean, it's the way people, you know, people communicate. Um, but, yes, we're always here to help. Just a phone call away, an email away, um, anytime. Yeah. Yes. All right. Thank you again, Lauren. Thank you so much. Raven County, we'll get Lauren to say goodbye to you. Bye. We'll see you next time. Thank you.